we are very pleased to launch our partnership with the news and entertainment website, BuzzFeed, our first installment of the popular interview series, BuzzFeed Brews, features Richard Pepler. He is the chief executive officer of HBO. BuzzFeed's business editor, that would be Peter Loria, asked Mr. Pepler about people who watch HBO online without paying to subscribe. It's not material to our business, number one. Um, it, it's not that we are unmindful of it, but it has no real effect on the business. Here's, you know, I go around and talk to a lot of intern groups um, over the course of the year. And I do my own little mother-in-law surveys, my own little focus groups. So how many people here uh, are, are, are watching HBO Go? You know, all, all the hands go up. Are you watching Girls? All the hands go up. Are you watching Thrones? All the hands go up. Are you watching Eastbound? All the hands go up. How many people are using their parents' Go account? Every hand, you know, <laughs> goes up. How many of you are more likely, when you get your first apartment, to subscribe to HBO Go because you're not? All the hands go up. So to us, it's, it's in many ways a terrific marketing vehicle for the next generation of viewers. And it is, it is actually uh, not material at all to, to our business growth. So you just rattled off a number of series. Um, have you ever publicly disclosed how much you spend on program, original no. programming? Pre do you want to do that right now? No. <laughs> you can't do that right now? No. You sure? No, we spend, right. a, we spend, a, we spend a, uh, a lot of money. Uh, you were going to curse right there. You are going to yes, curse I right there. I caught myself as I saw the camera. <laughs> as Richard Pepler and everybody else at HBO knows, it's not TV, it's HBO. So he made some news last night talking about the HBO Go app. Do you think it says something about the direction HBO is going? Yeah, well, I think they increasingly realize that, you know, video is being consumed on a lot of different platforms and they want to make HBO Go available in as many places as they can. But of course, they have this legacy channel that brings in billions and billions of dollars that's tied to cable network distribution. So decoupling that and going direct to the consumer is very difficult. So they're trying to find creative ways or unique ways to market it and get it in front of people without actually breaking down the walls and this Aren't billion dollars. Are they going dollar. to PlayStation? They are going to PlayStation, yeah. but you still need to have an HBO subscription to, to access the app on PlayStation. And who's next in our BuzzFeed Brews uh, series? I'm very excited about this one. The next one we're going to do is February 3rd, which is Monday, and we're going to do it with Jerry Seinfeld, which is very, very exciting. Big get. Yeah. How did you get him? Because he doesn't talk to anybody. We've been trying to get him since we launched this show. Well, other than Where'd the you fact... you pick up the phone and say, hey, Jerry, I did. Peter. It's, very, it's that easy. I just <laughs> picked up the phone and called him. Um, you know, I think that, like, so he's, he's very interested in promoting the show Comedians in Cars, Getting Coffee, yeah, that he does, like which is in show. his third season. And that's digital only, right? And who's watching digital programming? Most of it's 20-somethings, millennials, which probably he realizes he's not exactly that much popular with that particular audience. Okay. His audience is probably 40 and above. Love, if you think about when Seinfeld was in its yes. heyday. Um, so he's, he's doing outreach. He's on social media. He's on Twitter. He did a Reddit Q&A yeah, the other day. So it, it makes sense. It's smart. Can't it all goes to see together. Peter. I like all things Jerry Seinfeld. You can put in a good word for us when you're talking to him. I will. I will. I'll tell him he should do the show. All right. Thank you. <laughs> We'd appreciate that.